If you're struggling to get better, there's a good chance it's because you're holding the racket the wrong way. Yes, see how I'm holding the racket right here? We're gonna get into a lesson today to show you why it's wrong and what you need to do to fix it. My name is Jeff Salzenstein. I'm the founder of Tennis Evolution, and it's these little tips that are gonna help you accelerate your results and play the best tennis of your life. And if you love this video, make sure you give us a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and turn on your notifications because we wanna keep helping you get better. All right, let's get going. All right, this is the dreaded block grip. Fingers are scrunched together, lots of tightness in the wrist and the hand, and I see it on all the strokes, the forehand, the backhand, the serve, and even the volleys. You've gotta fix this. If you're not doing this, it's really holding you back. You're wasting a lot of time. So, what do we have to do? Well, we're gonna focus on the forehand first. And it doesn't matter if you have an Eastern grip or a semi-Western grip, you've got to talk to the finger right here. This is your, your favorite little finger. Your finger is your friend here. It's called the trigger finger. The index finger has to be spread like this. If you're not doing it exactly the way I'm showing you right here, you aren't going to improve the way that you want, flat out. This is one of the biggest things I look for when I help players with their mechanics. Before we even worry about contact point or, or follow through or your first move, if you're holding the racket like this and you're trying to swing, you're gonna have a lot of tension. So I'm gonna grab a couple balls here. If I'm holding the racket in this block grip and I go to swing, it just is going to feel tight. I can feel it in my wrist there's a lot of pressure in my hand. So the easiest thing you can do is you just spread that tr trigger finger. The trigger finger is your friend. And when you get spread like that, what you're gonna do is you're gonna start to notice that when you swing, you have a lot more feel and a lot more ability to throw the hand and let that wrist go like this. And that's what's missing. If you're holding it like this, it's going to feel weird to turn your wrist over. And I see so many club players swinging the racket and then they try to cover the ball like this. Nope, spread the finger, use this trigger finger and let the hand and the wrist release like this. This is a huge tip that is, is going to be a game changer for you. Now, let me give you a couple other tips with the grip on the forehand side. Ideally, I want you to hold the racket with the heel of the hand off of the racket, not choked up like this. Get the heel of the hand off of the racket like this Make sure that when this trigger finger is spread, you get the, the thumb fastened over the middle finger. A lot of players, when they're swinging, they actually have the thumb over the index finger, and that's going to cause issues as well. You're going to be tighter, you're not going to be as relaxed and as loose when you swing the racket. So back to the trigger finger. You can do this on the forehand. I just showed you. Now, let's move over to the backhand side right now. So on the backhand side, you have a few options here. Yes, if you have a one-handed backhand, I do see some players with that block grip. So when they go to swing, they hit the ball like this, but again, I feel a lot of tension and a lot of tightness. So if you can learn to spread that index finger like this, you wanna make sure that you get that index finger spread so you can really feel the ball when you're swinging. So again, index finger is spread. beautiful swing when I do that. If it's like this, now I'm going to start to kind of break the wrist and turn the racket over, and we don't want to do that. So we can also do the same thing on the two-handed backhand, and again, you have a few options. With the bottom hand, you can definitely work on having that trigger finger spread, and then when you hold the racket here, you could have your fingers closer together on the top hand. Okay, you could also have the hand in this block grip and then you use this top hand to spread the trigger finger. You've got to feel what works best for you. You've got to find what works best for you. Now for me, I prefer to actually have the trigger finger spread on the bottom hand and also on the top hand. I just feel like I can really drop the wrists and relax the hands when again, I've got the trigger finger set. So if you're not doing this already and you're struggling with your two-hander, consider using those trigger fingers appropriately on both the bottom hand and the top hand. So let me just hit a couple so you can see what I mean. So I've got the index finger spread. I'm gonna drop the ball here and I'm gonna make sure that when I put the hand on the racket, I'm gonna spread this trigger finger. So I'm gonna spread 
and swing. And again, it just allows you to relax the hands when you do this. If you are in a block grip and you're tight, it's very difficult to drop the hands. So that's what I want you to understand, that tennis is a game that's played with the hand. So before you think about turning your shoulders and loading and stepping in and following through, you have to get your grip positions more comfortable so that you can swing with, a, with, with loose hands. Now let's move to the serve. So we're gonna focus on the serve here. And what I want you to take a look at here is when I get ready to serve, obviously I wanna make sure my hand is relaxed. But when I hold the racket again, just like the forehand, I'm going to have this trigger finger spread. Now it's a different grip. We're using a continental grip here. Remember the forehand grip is either Eastern or semi-Western, but with a continental, that's what I'm, the grip I'm going to use with the serve. I see too many players holding the racket. They bring the racket up like this. They have either a forehand grip or a continental grip and they're very tight. And you can see the racket angle here. This is not going to allow you to throw the racket up to the ball as easily. But if you can get that trigger finger spread and you can get that wrist to relax when you start your first move, it's going to feel very nice. So just practice holding the racket in that continental grip with the index finger spread. I'll hit a serve right now. Again, I want you to notice the difference. If I, if I hold in a, a block grip, and I see this with club players, with junior players, if they start like this, if I see their wrist cock like this, I know there's a problem. It's, this is, if I try to relax my wrist, I actually feel tension right here. That is why players aren't doing this. If they have a block grip, it looks like this. You probably have seen players that hold the racket really high because the wrist is cocked. Now, if I spread that trigger finger like this, I can now relax the wrist and, and throw the racket at the ball easier. I can start my first move with a relaxed wrist like this. Now, you may think that this is only for the forehand and the backhand and the serve, but I got another thing coming for you and I'm gonna bring a couple balls up with me. We're gonna go up to the net. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about the volley and the grip and the trigger finger, how you use it. Again, if you're at the net and you're getting ready to hit the volley, if you're holding it in this block grip, yes, you're gonna have tension. You might be able to keep the racket up a little bit more, but you're just not going to have that feel. So on the backhand side, if I spread the index finger like this, I'm going to have this feel. I'm gonna be able to get underneath the ball and get that nice backspin because of the angle of my hand. I can still throw that racket head at the ball and look at how much surface area my hand is taking up. Again, I'm not holding it like this. I'm spreading the index finger and now I can hit that nice underspin volley. The same thing holds true on the forehand side. If I wanna hit a forehand volley, I'm gonna keep the same grip and I'm focusing on that trigger finger spread. So now I can lead with the bottom edge of the racket and I can really get nice underspin on my volley without manipulating the racket or doing anything crazy because of how I'm holding the racket, because I have that in index finger spread. And so if, again, if I'm holding the racket with the block grip, it's going to be tight and I'm just going to chop down at the ball. Spread the index finger, I immediately have feel when I swing and when I hit my volley. So in this lesson, we've talked about the importance. Your new best friend is the trigger finger. We're gonna focus on getting that set up with your forehand, your backhand, your serve, and your volleys at the net. Of course, don't forget about the overhead either. It works the same way. Now, if you enjoyed this video, here's what I want you to do. You're going to click the link in the description below or somewhere in this video because I've got three tips that I wanna share with you about mistakes you're making on your forehand, big time mistakes. They're amateur mistakes and I want you to play like a pro. So I want you to click the link in the description below or somewhere in this video. And again, if you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up, make sure you're subscribed, turn on the notifications and share this video with others because it helps the channel grow and we wanna help as many tennis players as possible. So I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you at the next one.